Hello everybody, welcome back to Iowa Plains View and the Zero to Hero Challenge. It's still December. I spent most of the afternoon trying to figure out why I wasn't making any money. I noticed that when the hour passed, I didn't make any money. In fact, uh, one hour passed and I lost about $1,200. So I wasn't sure what was happening. And I won't bore you with all of the details because it took me a while to figure it out. But apparently there is some conflict between this barn and the silo across over in the grass field and distributing silage. I think that happened when I turned on total mixed rations over here. And because um, this had about 59,000 liters of silage, it was no longer making total mixed ration. In fact, I had turned that off. It wasn't making hay. I had turned that off, but it wasn't distributing the silage over to the BGA. It was just hanging on to it at the top of the hour. So I, I think I figured it out. I just took all the silage out of it and dumped it over in the BGA and uh, we started making money again but we're out of silage completely now um, actually I think there's about 2,000 liters over there that it's going to continue to distribute and there's about 40,000 liters in the BGA right now so we'll make some money overnight probably not as much as I hoped but we're going to go ahead and mow that field will be ready to mow in the morning so we're going to mow that we're going to get our silage production back on track and we're going to do a couple of additions over here so the first thing i'm going to do is sleep and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning so we made some money overnight very good we've got about two hundred and five thousand dollars that's very good because we're we need some money right now uh we're going to make some improvements here but we gotta mow first. We gotta get silage brewing. So I'm gonna head over to the store and I'm gonna lease our mower. And then I'm gonna go to the grass field and, and get the worker started mowing. I'm gonna try to use the follow me mod. and see if I can get a worker to drive the forage wagon and follow the mower and see how that works out. <laughs> it's a big field. If I could get it all done in one shot, that would be great. It would be worth paying the extra money for wages to get that done. All right, I can't drive and talk at the same time, so I'll see you guys over there. All right, here we are. We're gonna pick up our mower and we're gonna go mow. I just want to let you know if you hear any angry wolves during this uh, during this video, I, there, there are people outside of my house right now who are enjoying themselves and having a good time, and my dog doesn't care for that. So he's in here pouting and being grumpy. So if you hear him wolf, just ignore him. I do. Make sure it's not for sale for cheap. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Triple rear wheels. Hadn't seen that. So you got to pay extra. Okay, so you can get it with standard wheels. This is the greatest tractor ever. But we can't afford it, so. Some really good deals in here right now. What do we got here? Is that just a bale trailer? Bale auto load, manual loading. Okay, so it's just bales. Too bad, because we're going to need a trailer. But let's get our mower.
All right, I'm gonna take this to the field and then come back and get the mower. And when we get started, I'll bring you back. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. We're gonna get a little ways down the line. That ought to be good. I need to turn on my help menu. see if I can remember how to do this we are going to go back to this truck we're gonna get it in line oops we almost had an accident there we're gonna turn on the loading wagon we're gonna lower the pickup we're going to hire an AI worker Let's see, where is he? There he is. We're going to create job. Mod, follow me. We're going to start job. Vehicle missing. Okay, so I have to do the other one first. Then I can go back. Hire a worker. Okay. All right, further research is required. Well, I am terrible at using the follow me mod. And apparently I'm not so great at using OBS to start the recording either. So here we are, mostly done mowing the grass and picking it up. I've already put 200,000 liters in our Hessian silo that's over here. And I think we're going to get 300,000 in this load. So I think what I'm going to do is put 300,000 in, leave 300,000 in this silo and take 200,000 for making hay in the other silo. And then we'll be able to make total mixed ration and we'll be able to have enough silage for the BGA. That is the way I think it's going to work out anyway.
okay we've got half a million uh, already in the silo we have 127,000 in the trailer I'm gonna top that off and make it 200,000 and that should leave us about 400,000 in the silo 200,000 over to make hay and that sounds like a pretty good division to me so we're just gonna fill that until it gets to about 200,000 all right I'm gonna return this mower and I will see you guys back over at the farm All right, now that we've got the grass taken care of, I think it's time to turn our attention to this place. I've done a little landscaping. I've cleaned this area up over here. I think that we still need some, some different sources of income. The, the land on this map is just incredibly expensive. To get fields big enough to make us some money would cost us two to five hundred thousand dollars we could buy one field for you know between a hundred hundred and fifty but it's not going to be very large and it's not really going to produce a whole lot of crops we have to produce something that will make us a lot of money right off the bat so what we're going to do is we're going to put in four more of these except we're not going to be growing stuff for the BGA. We're going to put in four more of these and we're going to go grow cotton and we're going to put in a production spinnery. It's uh, slightly larger than a normal spinner spinnery. It also contains a tailor shop so we can make fabric and clothes in the same factory that's that's going to do a lot for us and it, it produces faster than a normal spinnery so we're going to see if that can make us a big chunk of money at a time because if you've never done clothes boy can you make a lot of money so we're going to try it it's not going to cost us well it's going to cost us most of what we have but i think ultimately it's going to produce better than if we had spent that money on a field so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it out, see if it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down four more of our greenhouses, our open gardens. And I considered a lot of other kinds of greenhouses, and we may still do that. It, you know, when land is this expensive, you have to explore other options. At least when you're getting started. So I'm going to try to make these somewhat even with the other ones. All right, so we have our four set up for cotton. I'm wondering if I should do two more for cotton. I'm going to put the, the spinnery down here, maybe even in this area here, and leave ourselves some room for, uh, for expansion if we need to. We may need to put in some more greenhouses. We may just not have enough cotton. So we're going to go with four of those. And then we'll go back to factories. And we're going to put in our custom production spinnery. And that's going to cost us 150 grand. Oh, wow, that pad's kind of made for it, isn't it? And there it is. So we've got 47 grand left over. And we're probably going to need that because we need to put seeds and fertilizer 
in our distributors. Let's get go ahead and get these turned on first. Nope, I was right the first time. And I'm sure they're going to be down at the end of the list. Sure would be easier if we had some tabs, huh? Kind of like on the... Um, Kind of like on the, the contracts page. Each individual different kind of contract has its own tab. <clears throat> Excuse me. Across the top of the page. And then you can just click on that and look at all of those kinds of jobs. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I was talking. I think I might have missed it. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so this is the first of our new ones. Cotton plus seeds plus solid fertilizer. And cotton distributing. And fabric cotton and clothes. So this thing runs 12,000 cycles a month, but I believe that both of these will run at the same time. So each one of those should get 6,000 cycles a month. We'll see how fast it makes. But first, we need to get some more seeds in here. We have fertilizer, I think because we're distributing fertilizer occasionally over from the uh, from the factory. Yeah, we do. So we need to get some more seeds in here. And I think the best way to do that is to go to the store and buy big bags. <coughs> Pardon me. Allergies are horrible. So we're going to need to get a trailer and some big bags. Let's see what we have up here in trailers. Pretty sure I know what we have up here in trailers, but I'm going to look anyway. Thank you, autosave, even though you get in my way sometimes. Yeah, see, these are... These are big, man. Auto load bales, auto load pallets. Wow. Add liquid tank. Wow, 37,800 liters. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this one, auto load pallets. That's big for 15.5. That's great. Yeah, done. I've never used this trailer before, so it could be the worst trailer in the bunch. But we're going to try it. All right, so we also need some seeds. All right, we're going to go with that. And we have some, some seeds over there as well, so we'll grab those. Now let's see how low, how well this auto load trailer works. Well, it said pallets, didn't it? So I wouldn't be surprised if it won't do a big bag. Yes, it will. This is pallet auto load specialization. Awesome. Should be able to load these right up. Change the type. Big bags. Load them up. Now, I don't know if I can, oops, I don't want to strap those. I don't know if I'm able to change the type once I've got a product on here. No, I don't think I can. No, I can't. So I'm just going to throw these on here. These open 
open gardens are great because they're they're so inexpensive to start with and this distributor was designed specifically to to distribute materials to them so it works all together really well i'm kind of hooked on them i i'm not sure i could play a map without them that would be a challenge for me what would be a challenge for me is to play a game with no open gardens and no bga that would be a challenge for me because they just they make so much sense how easy is that very nice this trailer rocks guys I'm gonna love it glad I took a chance and it's not a dolly trailer but look at all the clearance look how tight I can turn with it that v-shaped front really helps awesome so I'm gonna grab this Actually, I don't think I need to. It should have enough. All right, so we have 33,000 liters of seeds. We have 12,000 liters of solid fertilizer, and we can always send over more from our fertilizer production. Uh, water's going to stay full because of our automatic water distribution. So I think we're good to go. We should see our cotton plants turn green. Because right now we're missing everything. <laughs> so in five minutes, we'll have cotton. And we have plenty more room here for more, more open gardens. I think this side is going to be all about the watermelon and melon greenhouses. So I think... I think the bulk of our money is going to come from... From this one plot of land we have the one across the street too which i have thought about plowing up and turning into a field we could plant something over here whoops almost got hit by a car we can plant uh maybe oats or sorghum something we could get straw from something we could um use to to make seeds with in our uh farm production facility you know we could grow oats put the oats in the building to make seeds put the straw in the building to make silage so oats would oats would help us out we already have a big grass field so i don't feel the need to plant that in grass right now and at some point we may buy those fields over there to to continue to grow things that will make us seeds and straw. But I think traditional farming is not gonna be what we need in this in this challenge. All right, so we got cotton going and it's gonna be sending it over to our spinnery. So very good. We are going to now sleep. I know it's only one o'clock in the afternoon Well, we're going to sleep because I kind of want to see how fast things are going to happen. Need a little rain. That's always good for the crops. And it's morning. Good morning. It's February. And we have $157,333. So we made about a hundred grand overnight. A little more. And what do we got over here? Oh, my word. Are those clothes already? Overnight? Holy cow. We have 6,000 liters of clothes already. Yes, sir.
Put them in here. Well, no, I don't want to put them in there. Then I can't pick them up with the trailer. Let's shove them down there. If you're not aware, April is normally close month. Oh, Lord. Wow. Holy cow. I am truly impressed. Man. Well, all right. <laughs> We're going to continue to let that make close. We have 10,000 liters. One, two, three. Pardon me. Wow. Allergies are killing me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At eighteen thousand dollars a piece. Do the math. That's one hundred eighty thousand dollars right there. So we're going to let that go till April. Till we can get I think it's April. Let's look. May. All right, we can let this go until May. We're going to have a whole lot of clothes by May, folks. In a, in a few months, we're going to have a lot of money. Well, that was a good choice, and I'm glad I made it. Well, I think we're going to end it here for today. We've made some good choices and some good improvements today. I'm very proud of us, and I think we're going to make a lot of money really, really fast. If you like this episode, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you didn't like this episode, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.